Everything around us is made of matter, from the ice in your drink to the air you breathe. But why do these materials behave so differently? Solids keep the same shape and take up the same amount of space. They cannot be compressed or poured. You can't pour a solid. Liquids take the shape of their container and can be poured. But liquids cannot be compressed and always take up the same amount of space. Gases flow like liquids and will fill any closed container they're in. Gases are very easy to compress, and you usually can't see them, but you can sometimes smell them. Scientists look at what matter does. You can smell food cooking in another room. Some substances get bigger when heated, liquids change to gas, and substances freeze when cooled. Scientists form hypotheses to explain what they see, then test these ideas. When a hypothesis is tested and accepted by other scientists, it becomes a theory. The best theory uses the idea of particles, tiny portions of matter too small to see. All matter is made of tiny particles arranged differently in solids, liquids, and gases. In solids, particles are in a fixed pattern, held together strongly and tightly packed. They can only vibrate in place. In liquids, particles touch each other, but are held together weakly. They can move past one another. In gases, particles don't touch and are far apart. They spread out and move quickly in all directions. Matter can only flow if particles can move past one another. This explains why solids can't be poured. Matter can only change volume if particles can spread out or move closer together. When you squash a gas, particles move closer together and take up less space. A space where there are no particles at all is called a vacuum. A vacuum contains nothing. Now you understand how particle theory explains the behavior of solids, liquids, and gases all around us. Which state of matter has a fixed shape and fixed volume? What happens to the particles in a solid when it is heated? They stop moving. They vibrate more but stay in place. They break apart into smaller pieces. They spread out and become a gas. Why can liquids be poured but solids cannot? A. Liquid particles are sticky. B. Liquid particles can slide past each other. C. Solids are too heavy. D. Liquids have no particles. Which of the following is not a property of gases? A. Can be compressed easily. B. Takes the shape of its container. C. Has a fixed volume. D. Particles are far apart. What is the best explanation for why you can smell food cooking in another room? The food's particles dissolve in air. Gas particles spread out and move quickly. Heat destroys the food's particles. Liquids turn into solids when heated. What happens to the volume of a gas when it is compressed? A. It increases. B. It stays the same. C. It decreases. D. It disappears. What is a vacuum? A type of solid. A space with no particles. A very cold liquid. A compressed gas.
Which state of matter has particles that are tightly packed but can vibrate? Solid. Liquid. Gas. Plasma. What is the main difference between liquids and gases? Liquids can be compressed. Gases have a fixed volume, liquids do not. Liquids have particles that touch. Gas gases are always visible. What do scientists call an explanation that has been tested and accepted? Hypothesis. Guess. Theory. Prediction. <laughs>